Hi Capricorn, it's Elle here to do your August 2018 general reading. It's a general reading, so it won't resonate with each and every Capricorn out there. If you're cross-watching, you know, take the information however you process it, okay? Let's jump into it. We'll save the announcements to the end. All right, so we've got our stones laid out here. Um, so Capricorn, um... <laughs> There's money around. There's like good fortune. You know, money is stable. You may have even maybe traveling right now, or you did travel. It was fun with friends. It was um, the need to celebrate something. You know, it's definite fun. Some truth may have come out within traveling. Some truth between you and a partner, maybe about somebody keeping their options open, someone um, entertaining someone else. I don't really see it being that like they they completely went out of the relationship. All right, Capricorn. Yeah. So some of you want the truth about. Does this person really want to commit? What do they want? Some of you are like planning or gathering a get together or celebration or wedding. I don't know. So for some of it, for some of you, I think your partner doesn't know what you want. Do you want real commitment? Do you want marriage and? So far, they want the truth about that. They're offering that, though. It looks really good. I mean, get some travel here. I love friends. It may feel like too good to be true for some of you, in which you don't feel so grounded here because we've got our garnet stone off. Um, there's no obstacles. The obstacles have been removed. There's no blockages. That looks really nice. Um, for some of you, you might even have like money and different pots maybe investments or like you have different money streams okay or you're trying to cultivate that all right get that out of the way and let's jump into the cards we're going to start with love right. what are the love messages for capricorn four cards I have love messages for Capricorn. I feel happy doing your reading. That's nice. It's always a good sign. Love messages for Capricorn. Love messages for Capricorn. Okay, here we are. Under the deck, judgment, okay? Career and finance messages for Capricorn. Career and finance. Ten of Cups under the deck. Nice. Alright. The Butterfly Oracle card for Capricorn. Okay. 
there and put that one back. If it comes back out, then we know that it's for Capricorn. Okay, guys, so we've, we've been getting some negative comments down in the comment or negative commenters so i'm asking that my faithful subscribers and those new to the channel we help police our own community because it, it's not a channel that just belongs to me but it belongs to all of us um if you see negativity at the bottom of the deck we have volunteer if you see negativity in the comment section just quietly and quickly hit report and report that person so that we can get that out of here because this is a place of positivity of healing sometimes it's healing to see a comment from a complete stranger and you read it and you're like my man i'm going through the same thing that's so crazy and it's you know kind of a you know a sigh of relief there we don't need to see negative comments if you are a negative poster stop um if you do see negative comments report them so that they can leave us who actually want to grow and have growth and gain clarity in our lives and not read stupid stuff um and if it just gets out of hand then i'm just gonna shut down the comment section because none of us need that okay all right the bottom of the deck for angel answers if you have a question uh, think of it and the answer is in the near future so that's nice All right. okay for love we have I'll start here and the ace of swords nice ace of cups the fool and the seven of swords so it's almost like what I said what we saw in the stones someone wants the truth about what you really want in this relationship or vice versa you you know you're a trying to exact the truth in regards to dealing with another person because someone either you or the other person is willing to take that leap of faith they're also planning they have actions they want to take make plans on um what the future looks like and they may be doing it in secret i don't feel like this is a negative card um for some of you it is a question of like we did see in stones uh are you still engaging with other people? Are you still keeping your options open? And that may be, uh, maybe for uh, air sign Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, they are, they are. Um, but some final decisions need to be made here. Be final and be exact in what you want. Uh, some truth and clarity comes in that gives you a new start. And it may even be that it's a resurgence of love or new love. Where you guys can take that leap of faith. Some of you might even be planning to elope. Um, yeah. So, it, I don't know. I just felt really good about the reading. About the energy. It's just, there is a small air of of confusion to the point where it's like, you know, I don't know what they want. And it's going good. And, you know, maybe they have sent a text message here. Or liked a few pictures here for someone else but it's not drastic and for some of you it very well may be drastic but it, for the sector of people i'm talking about it's not drastic all right in career and finance we have the ten of cups so there's some happiness the highest level of happiness now sometimes this can be pseudo happiness like i'm faking my happiness let's see temperance nice ace of wands queen of pentacle the tower yeah it looks like for some of you um, money career and finance are tied to a home situation some of you are waiting for the opportunity to take action in regards to um, maybe a fire sign a Sagittarius Aries Leo um, I think it all falls down and you're okay with it you're okay with you know this fake happiness and then look what's under the hierophant this fake marriage this the fakeness of it all um you're okay with it crumbling in a sense because you haven't been happy about this for a very long time um you know that this person is doing whatever it is they're doing 
behind your back could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius some truth comes in that gives you guys a new start either you're gonna start over or you just put the love and the energy into yourself and you take the leap of faith away from this person for some of you and I think money is tied here maybe this person is the breadwinner or vice versa but it looks like a shaky foundation will be broken down in regards to home and family in which your finances are tied to you know you built a life together um, For some of you, it's a Sagittarius. You just you want you wonder if you're gonna get the house, or what's gonna happen with the house? Is there gonna be a sale of a home? Something happens around the home. Hmm. Okay. Bottom of the deck for butterfly oracle cards. Volunteer. Of course, this could be actually volunteering being benevolent doing your alms you know charity work or this could be volunteer the information volunteer yourself if you hear of an of a need in regards to maybe you know someone in your circle in your sphere if you can help volunteer yourself volunteer the money volunteer your energy volunteer that advice um take that how you will then we have grief work heavenly signs I think for some of you you know that you know that something isn't right for some of you you know that you know that this can be taken to a higher level grief work some of you haven't grieved the loss of the the despair that came with something that shook your foundation for some of you it can even be a loss of a job it could be a loss of a relationship. You need to actually grieve that. You know, you just kept going in a sense of um, it doesn't matter it, or whatnot. Or you push the feelings down. Grieve because then you can no longer go back there. Because you've already done the process of release and letting go. Now, if you never release it, you never let it go and you push it down, then guess where it is? It's just there and it can resurface. So... I think you have heavenly signs about maybe someone someone's infidelity or someone's you know still keeping options open or you have heavenly signs that this could actually go very well for you you need to be very decisive about what you want I think we're talking to two different types of Capricorn right now for angel answers at the bottom of the deck we have in the near future so that's good unlikely and not the right time yeah unlikely it's unlikely that this situation is going to pan out the way you want it to because there are factors uh, that are not of your control I know Capricorn is all about control and possessiveness but one thing you can't do is control people you can control yourself and how <clears throat> you react in any situation you cannot control other people you can't control the the radical the radical is another person you know you just just can't even when you try hard to you can't uh, it's not the right time for something and temperance talks about perfect timing waiting for something uh, some of you may be waiting for payouts from divorce waiting for payouts and settlements from legal actions it's just not the right time but in the near future it is coming for you I hope that this message um, resonated with all Capricorns. If not, um, check your rising moon, Venus, all of those, you know. Um, know that I'm praying for you. Pray for me as well, Capricorn. All of my information is below if you need to get in contact with me about scheduling or setting up a personal reading. My website uh, will be at the end of the, the video it'll also be below there is a four business day wait for any reading um, it's a pretty quick turnaround though uh, depending right now I'm really busy anyway um, thank you Capricorn for tuning in Re remember to stay in prayer I'm praying for you guys to take care